Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I doubled my storage and 10 times my speed by editing off a NAS. All right, so first, where do we start from? I was editing off a local hard drive where I was getting about 125 megabytes per second, both read and write speeds. While my scratch disk was faster, I wasn't able to hold projects that were greater than 500 gigabytes, so I needed to be able to use larger amounts of storage when I'm editing off a project. On top of that, I wanted to go access my past content that I've shot so I could remix that content and create new deliverables for my past clients. My external hard drives that I was saving my content to were getting to be about five years old. So I was scared that they were gonna fail. So of course, I wanted to expand my storage and have a little bit of redundancy so that I don't lose anything. So I bought a Synology 1821 plus hard drive system and that has eight bays of storage. What I did was I created one massive volume of storage by combining all eight of those hard drives and I created a RAID 6 configuration. That configuration allows me up to two drives to fail and I won't lose any content. So for the hard drives, I bought these 16 terabyte Seagate Ironwolf hard drives that were built for NAS systems. These hard drives are set up so that they can run all year long and they're pretty much as close to what you can get for an enterprise level solution while also being quiet enough so that it doesn't disturb me in my home office. After attaching 16 terabytes of drives, I was able to get 84 terabytes of usable storage, and that's with the redundancy. So while researching, I was a little worried about the RAID 6 configuration. There were videos suggesting that there would be issues with performance on my write speeds because you're writing to two redundant hard drives. That ended up not being an issue. I was still able to get up to 1000 megabytes per second under my RAID 6 configuration after performing some upgrades. So what did I upgrade? Well, first thing is I upgraded the RAM from four gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. Next, I added in a 400 gigabyte Synology SSD that allows me to leverage SSD caching, which is perfect for video editing because I'm randomly going to be selecting frames across my hard drives. With SSD caching, I won't have to actually go to the hard drives themselves. The files will get saved to the SSD automatically, and therefore my common files are gonna be coming through the SSD instead of the hard drives themselves. So this is going to both increase the performance as well as extend the life of my hard drives since they don't have to work as hard while I'm editing videos. So after all this, I still had some issues because I was only getting 100 megabytes per second of transfer speed. After upgrading the network card, both on the Synology as well as on my PC, I was able to leverage the 10 gigabit per second speed that equated to around 1000 megabytes per second of read and write transfers. On top of that, I ran a power line adapter to my router so that way I'm able to back up my footage to Google Drive using CloudSync, which is an app that's included as part of the Synology software. And it allows you in the background to upload your files to Google Drive at a specified time. All right guys, so what I wanna show you now are some of the different speeds that I had both before and after. When I was editing off my local eight terabyte hard drive, I was getting 125 megabytes of read and write speed. Now, after using my NAS, I'm getting up to 1000 megabytes per second. That's insane. And on top of that, I have access to 84 terabytes of storage, which I've never had before. So if you want to learn how to do this, I would highly suggest watching videos from NAS Compares as well as SpaceRex. They do a great job at walking through what you need to do pretty much at every step of the process. I would also recommend to ask me any questions that you guys have. Reach out in the comments below and we'll talk over there. Bye.